Megan Jeffrey is a lot of things. Uh, I'm a comedic actress. Uh, I live in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, I like to do impressions a lot. I love cultures. I love the world. I love languages. As you can see from my content, like that's that's the, a big part of who I am online as well as just showcasing that. I love to read. I'm obsessed with the library. I maxed out my library card last year, like a credit card. I had to use my kid's library card. Yeah, I like to learn. <laughs> am I really from Trinidad? No, I am not from Trinidad originally or at all. <laughs> uh, I am from Baltimore, Maryland on the east side. Yes, three times. Yes. Oh, well, I like, um, I like stewed chicken. I like macaroni pie and I love plantains and I love, um, Polori with tamarind sauce. Like those, that's like my go to dish. You know, honestly, I got started before realizing what I was doing. It kind of like caught me by this, like, and uh, I just started doing videos and posting online. But honestly, like, I come from a very funny family. So it, it, it like, it started from the womb, I think, because it was our escape mechanism to laugh and crack jokes and stuff. And, do impressions of one another and whoever was around so that was kind of how we pass the time and um but i how i i really got started looking back is i put videos on tiktok i swore after two weeks i was gonna be out it didn't matter what happened and after two weeks i had three thousand followers and i'm like shit this is fun you know and then i was like all right let me finish the month out and then i'm gone and so the month came Two weeks later, I had 15,000. And it was just like, all right, well, <laughs> this is way too addictive. I, I wasn't working at the time, so I just kept going. And and within eight months, I had over 100,000 followers on TikTok. And it just it just snowballed. And and honestly, there have been times where I've said, like, okay, well, I want to stop this because, you know, maybe I, maybe I need to focus elsewhere. Like, what am I doing? You know, it was like very much imposter syndrome. Like, what the hell is going on here? Why, have, why do I have so much success in this place when... I went to school, I have two degrees and all these certifications and I have so much work experience. It was like, what am I doing over here? Like, I'm going to become an online star now? Like, I don't think so, you know? And uh, yeah, so that's kind of when it happened. And and it's only now that I kind of understand that this is a part of the dynamic of who I am, the fabric of, of what I've been made with, I suppose. And so, yeah, this is, this is how I got started. Ah, the DM series. The DM series, I'm really glad you asked that question because I love talking about it. The DM series started out as the attention that I got from becoming so popular online so quickly, uh, I started getting all of these men coming into my DMs. Direct messages, for those of you who don't know what DM means. If you're on Instagram, you better know that. Anyway, um, so started getting a lot of attention and I was like well I'm not gonna date these guys and I need to like I, I wanted to deflect I, I couldn't take a compliment right so I would deflect all the compliments by like shifting it elsewhere and kind of confuse men you know because I think in our culture there's this idea that if a man gives a woman a compliment she's supposed to just accept it gracefully and walk away and if she does anything else she's either rude or she's you know weird or whatever it was and then it, it started getting laughs right and so I made it, actually the DM series started out as a video series, but people didn't really think that uh, they were real. They didn't believe that these DMs were real. So what I did was I would take screenshots and darken any information that would identify the person who sent it to me. And I started revealing like these screenshots and I made up a fictitious uh, research-based organization called the Dry Mouth Association of America. And I deemed myself the president and I made up all these like bogus statistics. Like men are five times more likely to develop esophageal cancer because they can't swallow their pride. Like such so just like bullshit. And um, it just grew from there. And now like it is, it's like a cult following. So yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. Oh, Actually, my favorite pickup line that I ever got, I posted as a video 
I got the guy's permission that I could use his voice and I posted it on my page so you can actually find it and listen to it. But he was from Trinidad and he said, <laughs> um, he said, you like fucking cream cheese. <laughs> Because I'm so pale. So, yeah, that was the best one. Sometimes I actually really like these. It's great. Oh, Marlon Wayans is my celebrity crush. Yeah. I, he's a little old. I understand that for me, I suppose. But uh, if you, if I had to mix, like, the, the celebrity crushes that I have, it would be Marlon Wayans because he's, he's fine. And he's funny as shit. I love funny people. Bad. And Enrique Iglesias and um, Cristiano Ronaldo. You mix all those t three together and we're in business, baby. Well, shit. Uh, what do you not already know? I am very, very open. Um, and so, so there's not a lot that people don't know, I suppose, that I'm actually willing to share, <laughs> I think. I think um, something that they may not know about me is that uh, I actually, which I mentioned earlier in this interview, is I have a whole decorated uh, educational and work past. So like I, I, I started out wanting to become a linguist and, and being in international relations. And, um, and then, yeah, my life sort of pivoted. So I, I actually have degrees and, and certifications, but, uh, and I use them, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe people already know that. If you go on my website, you find that out. I'm curry chicken. I, I am so sorry to all the Guyanese followers, but. The best rice in the Caribbean. Hmm. Well, honestly, I only have two cuisines that I'm familiar with in the Caribbean, which is Jamaica and Trinidad. I'm gonna side with Trinidad this time. Yeah, we have rice. Uh, we have rice. They have rice. Yes. They have palo. Palo. You guys don't know palo? Palo is like, it's, it's not a rice and peas, but it's something similar. The sea. Audi, Audi, what the hell? That's a question. Airplane. Thank you to Cav Media for having me. This has been so much fun.